Stick with me and we're going to talk about how to grow microgreens indoors. So I'm experimenting with some seed starting indoors here. I've got these uh, grow lights here and here. And what I'm going to do here is we decided to use the trays and actually try clusters. These are about a week old, this kale. They're already giving us clusters. This is bib. It came up like immediately in like three days. Um, and surprisingly, purslane is already up, which usually is a very slow grower. I think it's because of these lights, like everything's supercharged. And here's a, some flowers. We're doing hollyhock, and they're already out in less than a week. Let's check them out. It's crazy. So I'm going to keep an eye on this. Um, again, I think it's kind of the setup is you're supposed to put the lights about a foot and a foot and a half over your trays. These lights, uh, I'll see if I can get a good view of them. They're on Amazon. They're colored LEDs. And they're really good for like 20 bucks. Um, of course, you got to get something to hold them. These things. But for what they are, you know, LED grow lights used to be so outrageously expensive. It'd be like $300 to get a strip of a grow light. And now you can get them for like 20 bucks. Thank you, China. So... I'm going to keep watching these. I don't know if these are so crowded, if they'll just kill each other out. But I've had luck with microgreens by cluster planting before, but I've never done it in trays. If that happens, I'll probably have to move them outside, but it is still too cold and everything will probably die. I'll have to wait. I'm hoping to make it um, close to a month. I might have to just transfer them to a bigger pot. I don't know what the hell I'm going to do. I Frankly, I didn't expect them to grow this fast. So, um, yeah, we'll figure it out. I'll keep you in the loop. So I started growing some sprouts inside to get a jump start. Um, the reason they're all discolored is because of my LED grow lights. But one thing about these guys is even though the LED is not really hot, I think it does dry them up a little bit. So I'm always having to use like a spray bottle, right? This takes forever. So I'm going to show you a hack you can use for your seedlings. And if you didn't know this, you get a water bottle and you poke uh, either two to three holes in. And what this allows you to do is gently spray out so you don't wreck your seeds. And if you line it up right, look, you can actually hit both rows at the same time. Let me show you that better. Both rows at the same time. And it saves a ton of time watering. If I can line it up right. There we go. So you get an idea that um, by doing this, it sped my watering up tremendously. You just got to get it lined up right. And of course, when I want to film it, it's not working right. <laughs> Here's an update on uh, the microgreens. This is about perfect. Uh, this might even be a little too big. But I'll start giving these guys a haircut and start throwing these into salads. And you'll get two or three growths out of them. And maybe I'll even put them outside in the ground. Um, I've got other stuff going up here. Just little onion sprouts and things like that. And tomatoes. But there you go. I hope you'll try growing some microgreens. It was really easy, and you can get a couple cuts off them before they kind of go bad. Uh, then you just put them in the garden. That's what I did, and they kept going out there. It's amazing how many times they'll grow back. Anyway, you can check me out at any of these alternative platforms uh, if you don't care for YouTube. Also, don't forget if uh, to check out my website, lupotv.com. And I really appreciate all you guys have been using the Amazon link to shop. It really helps keep the show going. So check out my other stories. We're coming out here to hear if Cool Cat lets you. <laughs> no! <laughs> anyway, check them out and uh, keep watching. Cool Cat! No!